Hey, 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 everybody, hello, and welcome back to Massively Overpowered Television, where we are bringing you super stuff. That's right, MJ finally took how long of this beta to, to finalize a character? <laughs> uh, later on, I'll show you guys a little bit of the creation, because it's, it's nice. It is nice. There's some nice stuff in there. But it took me a while, and now I have a character, and I have Mr. Casey himself here with us to talk about the game and hopefully I'm taking a look here oh auto hosting finally stopped good <laughs> like hopefully it's showing our stream now and not some other stream Very that would good. be good yeah that's how things go for me sometimes Hikari might as well start over uh, that's okay Hikari we just barely started really so we're good should be good. So, uh, wait, now my sound in there went away. Oh, all my music in here just went away. Okay. Oh, did now you, it's back. Did no? you turn it off? No, I didn't. <laughs> it just kind of disappeared it, for a minute. It must be the new neural interface that knew you wanted it off, so. Yeah. Oh, I see why I couldn't see the FPS forever. It's white, and I keep moving my camera to where it's over that little white area. Right. <laughs> oh, we're at 60, got to 67 now. All right, so yes, Ship of Heroes. This is a closed beta character creation, but you're getting to run around and check out your powers and stuff. So, but yeah, and then Casey's here to answer all your questions. This is the man uh in charge. This is the man cracking the whip on everybody making them work doing all this stuff i'm here ready to answer questions <laughs> so ask questions all you want folks and let's get in the game Ta-da! so i was going to actually sort of take you on a little tour just in case you had not seen apotheosis city before Yes, we've run around it a number of times, but is there more open to it? More op Oh, look at this. We've got... Yes. You know, I'm going to ask you to press P and maybe pull down the flight power from the M row. And maybe the resurrect power. I don't know. That sounds important. You might need it. Torch. Now, there are other trouble powers, so we have flight and we have uh, super speed. Teleport is an emergency. I need to be saved power. And it throws you over to the arch in the center of town. Oh. And we put that in because it's not quite fully developed as a travel power yet, but we will finish it up soon. But, uh, well, we discovered, I, I was really surprised to hear this, you know, I thought people would run around the city. The first five people that got into the city, within 30 seconds, they jumped in the lake. I said, what, what is going on with you guys? You're jumping in the lake. Why? Why? Uh, that sounds perfectly normal to me, isn't it? it? It apparently it is irresistible. It is. So, so yep, this is my character. Cool. See, Just... we both made redheads. Oh, I always make a redhead. <laughs> me too, actually. So what I was going to show you is if you've got flight, and I should say, do you have flight? Okay, so if you can see me, just follow me up to the top of this building. Woohoo! If you just uh, sort of turn flight off and drop in, you'll get the superhero landing. Oh, okay. Boom! Oh, look at that. I just crunched the ground a little. Hey, nice. <laughs> We weren't going to advertise this a lot, but we left it in. If you remember some of our videos, we're up here. This is the Powers Testing Center. So these are, in fact, dummies, and they do actually work. You can test out your powers. Yeah, guys, I managed to resist fire. It was very hard <laughs> to resist fire skills. It is hard to resist. Now, the way we did it on this one is everybody is level one so you've only got a couple of powers here but still they're fun oh thank you you're buffing me and that buff actually shows up under my uh, portrait well that one should have been a heal it is a heal 
Yeah, but and then there's, me... a, then there's a buff. Oh, I'm sorry, that's my own self buff that's under my portrait. <laughs> oh, here we go, FBS in the 80s now. All right. Yeah. Now I did buff you for temporary buff to damage. Excellent. For 60 seconds. Okay, so I wanted to show this to you just because people asked us, hey, you know, what can we do? This is a character creator beta, so it's all about making your characters. But you can also, you know, move around the city, you can fly, and you can test powers. And there actually are some, some other things you can do. So if you want to follow me here, I'll show you another thing. That was super speed. Oh, that just slammed my face in the walls. <laughs> super speed is fun, but it's probably suboptimum for exiting the roof. Yeah. Maybe if there wasn't an edge, but no, instead I just face planted on the wall. Well, that's funny. I see you flying over sort of Superman. Well, I guess Supergirl in this case. So this is our hospital. And we might as well just, you know, jump inside. So click the door. It should say loading mission. Yeah. Tannic, just wait. It's always nerve wracking a... to do these things live. Yeah. If you have a cliff or a pit, MJ may try to jump down as the first order of business. Yeah, pretty much. Like, ooh, look, it looks like you're not supposed to go over there. I go over there. Ooh, look at this place. Yeah, last mm -hmm. time I was in, we didn't, we didn't ever really have, keep, you know, life going on in the in the city. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! Your music has gotten pretty loud again. Yes, uh, I think that we have a situation right now that each time you enter, it you enter, enter an instance, you have to reset your settings, yeah. which I was talking to our lead coder about, and in fact, two of our coders about this morning. And I think we're pushing a fix for that this evening. Ah. Now, did you get in? I think I missed you. Did you run past me? Um, you're not in here with me. Are we in two different instances? That could be. I am by the fountain right now, so at any rate, well, if we group, does that happen? Do we have groups yet? We do have groups. We can form teams. We can do all sorts of stuff. I'm going to step out and see what that does to me, see if I come in differently than you. Oh, my goodness. I'm seeing my name reflected on the floor. Yeah. That's trippy. Okay, I'm going to try going in one more time. We'll see if we're in two instances or not. What? I think it is putting us into different places. Hmm. If you're is, grouped, will oh, you go to the same place? I think if we're on a team, I'm going to do slash invite. And you did Angel, right? Right. Let's see if that works. I love how you already knew that was me standing there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, let's go for a super fantastic name. No, forget it. Let's just do, <laughs> let's just do me. Now, did you get an invitation? Um, is it supposed to show up somewhere? It should show up in your chat. Uh, I think. Hmm. well, my chat's pretty empty. And by that, I mean it's completely and utterly empty. Well, in that case, I'm going to let you satisfy yourself about the uh, hospital, and I'll just mention your FPS is probably pretty high in there. Yeah, it was hitting 100. Yeah, look at this. You're getting to show off reflective. You're getting to show off moving water. P 
people not standing at their desk doing their work like they're supposed to. Now, one of the things we're thinking about is people who are uh, who are killed in combat and want to run back to their team. We might actually add a device outside for quick resurrection, and then put. Um, more complicated mission-related stuff inside. So, you okay. know, if the Nagdelian Queen disassembles you with the atomic disintegrator, you know, it's a more complicated res than if you're beaten to death by uh, Prometheans. Mm. That yeah. way, we can let people just race back to the uh, game. So when you're ready, come on outside. I'll show you a couple other little things that I think are cool. Then we'll go on to the next thing. Oh, but wow, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. It is big. There are doors it... everywhere that I can wander into and then have to find my way back out of. <laughs> <laughs> and there's going to be a lot of mission content in there. Nice. Crud, this run fast thing is keeps being harder than I ah. Okay, MJ does not have skills at running fast, guys, alright? Keep face planting into everything. Whee! Oh, that is pretty fast. Wait, how do I get out? Go to the doors and click them. Um trying that but I can't even quite reach the door and I don't have a mouse anymore ah uh, you trapped me <laughs> I got out Titanic that's the other thing MJ's an excellent QA tester when it comes to causing or finding problems in the game Nikari, MJ breaking all the things. Um. Hello, the purple test. Ah, so you can see her. I see the purple test. That is my daughter. Hi, daughter. That is Sarah Claire. Hello. Well, I. So yeah. you could see her, but you couldn't see me. That's interesting. Can you see her in here, or? I. It... She says the door there, I know, but look, look, I'm at the door. I'm clicking. I'm standing on top. I'm... Why can I know has out? <laughs> she came out. <laughs> I, I, look, look, I'm not making this up. There's no mouse. There's no clicky. So I'm going in. Let's see. Oh, if I, I see, see you in I there. I see you now. Yes, I see you in here now. Okay. But I can't get out. <laughs> when I right click the door, I I go out. Right, 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 right. Left, I went, left, and left, I went left. right out. I can't. I can't get out. Oh, Keone, thank you so much. Oh, Purple Test is inviting me to a group. Wait. No, I, I think I'm, I have no mouse anymore. I can't even move my. Is there a camera angle view that changes? I tell you what, I think you should. Because I hit can't even press yes to join the group. I can't do anything. I think you should hit escape, exit the game, and jump back in. I'm hitting escape! Let me out! <laughs> Oh, I've let never heard out. of this before. This is actually the first time. Someone let me out. <laughs> I can't get out of the game either. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. It has been suggested that you should try Alt F4. You, no. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> We don't usually do this to members of the press, MJ. <laughs> I can say that you're special. No one else has had this problem. <laughs> like, okay, so if I tab out, I have my mouse, and I can... Okay. I tabbed out, 
and I had the mouse for a split second. So let me try it again. Tab out. There's the mouse. Click on the- no, darn it. Okay, tab out. I get a mouse. Can you guys see the mouse? When I'm tabbed out? I'm curious. No. Only you can see your your mouse symbol. No, in the stream. <laughs> Toaster Master, oh, stream. no one else has this problem. Every developer MJ has streamed with. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is kind of true, actually. Okay, so I've got I've got a mouse if I'm tabbed out of the game and tabbed. So let's right click really quick. Oh, it didn't work. Right click, no. <laughs> All right, tab out, escape. No, that doesn't work. But I'm getting great FPS. I just can't leave the game. <laughs> Control Alt Delete. Yeah, it does look like a mouse look mode or something. Is there another mode? Is there a way to change modes? Um, like seriously, <laughs> earlier I I had my mouse and I could move it all around. I have no mouse now. That's what's missing. I'm in a mouse lick mode. How do we- is there a way out of this, or did you not know you had one? MJ, when you tabbed out of the game, and then tabbed back in, did you left click to make sure that your computer knew it was supposed to be selecting the game and not just be unselecting anything? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's- it's on the game. I can run around, I can move the game. The in-game mouse is what is missing- oh my goodness, I have tears, I've been laughing too much. Uh. <laughs> Oh boy, this is hilarious. I guess it's bad when text support says, I've never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> As Tannik says, we've never seen that happen before. We did never. not even think it was possible. Another common dev quote with MJ. <laughs> I'm really good at this, guys. Could it be OBS related? No, I mean, it was working fine until I came into the hospital. <laughs> well, I don't think we're taking you into any more instances. <laughs> no, we got to see if it we got to see if it, you know, happens again, right? Right. All right. Um oh, you know what? Equals. I can I uh, it's the equal sign. I'm going to try that. Here we go. Escaping. Escaping. Oh shoot, it put me right back here. <laughs> Oh, oh. You said I would escape out to the arch. <laughs> um. <sighs> Control Alt Delete is still better than the power button. Oh uh, yeah, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> Teleport moved me two steps to the left. Oh, heavens to Betsy! Why is that saying Neverwinter? I don't know why it's saying Neverwinter, people. It's because Twitch is being weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is MJ, hilarious. did you try Alt F4? That should knock you out of the game. I, I'd rather task end task it. I'm not gonna... I don't trust anybody in their alts in anything. I try to blow my computer up. I like how I walk up to the door and I do this high step kick. <laughs> <laughs> We've also never seen that before. <laughs> See? It's like I'm doing some Irish dancing. Look at this. Whee! You've got special powers. And these people keep appearing and disappearing right here. What's with that? Well, there, there's probably people going in and out. No, no, it's a group of NPCs that stand right here. And they're all oh, talking yes. for a second. See? see? Do you see my leg kick up when I go to the door? Whee! <laughs> Obviously, I'm trying to kick the door down. Yes. Yeah, my, that's a good point. My character kicks the door, too. <laughs> oh, yep, there you go. <laughs> but there was a group of NPCs that were here for a half second. There were three of them. Unless I'm hallucinating well, the, the NPCs now. do change in the hospital. They're not always the same. I know, but they were... They blinked in, and then they blinked out. <laughs> huh. So, let me uh, think to you. Hey, what happened? Oh, I know. Watch, the, watch the teleport. Wait, wait, wait. Watch Hold. the teleport. Uh, here we go. I'm going to teleport. Yeah, teleport. That's what I was going to say. Well, I already teleported once. <laughs> See? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh yeah, we're trapped. <laughs> this is so great. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but okay, so I've got to restart the game, but is it gonna start me in here or is it gonna start me over at the beginning? It's gonna start you over at the beginning. Okay, good. We're gonna try this again. <laughs> It, it, I swear it looks like a mouse look. Because I can't, there's no mouse to move anywhere on my screen at all. I can't move it down to the skills. I can't accept anything. It's like my mouse completely disappeared is the so you, issue that I'm having. You don't get anything better if you just unplug the mouse and plug it back in. No, the mouse works. It's only in here. You know, sometimes you have mouse look where your character is still. I've run back to the city hall in anticipation that you are going to reappear here. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, now she won't stop running. Stop for crying out loud. Stop. Like, no, really. Oh, for heavens, I don't, okay. I'm just gonna push your head into a wall and <laughs> control all delete. Ah. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> These are so fun. Okay, end task. All right, game is down. Game is down. Let's try this again. Oh. Oh my goodness. See, that's the that's the great thing about having me on is you check and see what things need to be fixed before you let other people play. Just... I have actually just learned something <laughs> critically important, which is you only get to play on the last day of the beta, never on the first. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to give you plenty of time to fix any bugs that were there, okay? <laughs> As of this morning, my, my lead coder and I said, I think it's all fixed. Everything works perfectly now. <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> We've never seen this problem before. <laughs> I'm good at that. But see, I can find those hard to find bugs. And I have a VOD that you can look at again and be like, what was that? All right. Uh, account name and password. Account password. That's what I named it. All right. Here we go. I'm back in. I'll show folks. So here I'll create a new character with you guys later. For now, since we have Casey, let's get uh, my Devastator back in the world, hopefully. I hope. <laughs> if I'm back in the hospital, I think I'll cry. <laughs> if you're back in the hospital, you're going to have to make a new character. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here I am, I think. No, you're not in the hospital, are you? No, and I do have my mouse back. Yay! Okay. I have a mouse. I can join groups. Look at that. I can join groups now. Alright. We're totally oh, gonna oh, have where to... are you? I'm right here, right? Like, there's your name. Your name is right. Oh, okay. I, that's funny. I see you are slow logging. Oh, no, there you are. You're over there. You told me I would come back over here, right? I did. But I thought you might log in in the. <laughs> you thought I might end up in the hospital anyway. <laughs> oh, I thought you might end up by the. Uh... Oh, where is the hospital? Where are you? What? Oh, I ended up outside the door of the hospital. Correct. Do we? There do we... you are. Now okay. I put flight on in the hospital, and I put the super speed on. So, I don't know if that information helps at all. I'm kind of tempted to go in and see if it still happens. You can see there's a few guys in the city here. Well, let's, uh, you know what? Let's come down here just for a second. <laughs> let's um, look at other stuff before we break more. <laughs> yes. So I just wanted to give you a sense. This is Ivar and Sons. So we do have this functional, but we sort of turned it off for the uh, test here because um, really nobody has any money or goods to trade. So, but you can, you can get a sense. This will be our auction house. Oh, nice. And, uh... Uh, wait a minute. A Devastator, does Ship of Hero use City of Hero-like character archetypes? Yes, I believe so. Yes, they are similar. They're not the same, but they are similar. So, for example, your Devastator 
if you're thinking that's like a blaster, a blaster in City of Heroes had like uh, range damage and melee damage. But your character is a little bit closer maybe to a, trying to think if it's a corruptor or a dominator because you are actually range damage and support. Ah, yeah, I noticed. I was, I literally was stressing for the longest time between picking heal or devastator, heal or devastator. And then, so I picked devastator and then I had to try to withstand getting fireballs because that's all I do. Pick this I, and then I go to I secondary and it's like heals and I'm all sweet. Fireball is the best power in my opinion. Although some of my other devs tell me not so much, but that's not been my observation. Example. Okay, so that's that's. Oh, you. Oh, that wasn't you. Well, no, that was uh, me. That was purple. Yeah. Okay, so since I discovered that everybody else likes to swim, we might as well run down there. You sure you want me to? <laughs> I'm waiting to see the water boil or some other thing that we've never <laughs> seen before. Hey, Darth. But you know what? The experience you and I are having. At least we're having fun, right? Oh, that's that's the best part. I, I think people log into my streams to see how many times I die and to see the creative ways I break a game. I mean, I actually had one game. Um, oh, my goodness. Which, which one was it? I'm totally spacing on the name right now. And uh, so this, this mob was coming up to kill me. It was a single player, and he's walking up to kill me. And I'm like, you don't want to do that. You want to turn around and go away. And it, like, actually turned around and walked away. <laughs> and everybody oh, else is like, that doesn't happen. That doesn't ever happen. What are you doing? <laughs> now we're going to turn off flight. All right, and see what happens. Whee! Oh, hey, you can swim. Yes, we can. Swim, you can swim for sure. Swim. Now there, you can, the other thing you can do is you can kind of like point your head up and turn flight back on. You can turn flight on from the water? Yes. Underwater, you can turn flight on. You will slowly come to the surface and then you will burst out of the water. Oh. Wow, you are moving fast underwater. I'm flying underwater. <laughs> I can fly underwater. To do that I can to fly underwater. About that. You I are not supposed to be able to fly that fast underwater. I turned on flight and then. Oh, now it's slow. Okay, so I take it off and I put it back on. Yep. <laughs> if you turn flight on while you're completely I... underwater. And you will burst out of the water. So you can go really fast if you do that. Oh, I, well, I don't know how bursting that was. Let me try it the real way. All right. This is funny because I talked to our devs and said, why are people in the water? We didn't plan for the water yet. We actually have plans for the underwater area here. Oh, but nice. But we didn't plan it. And they said, it's water. You've got to jump in it. I said, no. really? How do you? Yeah. You see water, you jump. You see cliffs, you jump off. Oh, S King says he only watches the streams for showing off advanced content raids and high level dungeons. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I do do world firsts. They're just world breaking firsts. They count, well, right? The next, the next uh, big event will be a group combat and invasion, a raid, in other words. Ooh, oh, here you guys are. Follow the track. Um, um, and does she face plant? Boom! Yep. By the way, one of the little skill tests, super speed along the track and don't fall off. Oh, seriously? It sounds easy. And yet... No, it doesn't sound easy. It is surprisingly difficult. 
I will say as well, if you're super <laughs> speed. Oh my God. Oh no, there I go. <laughs> Sorry. If you're super speeding and you hit F2, you change your FX. Uh, new, I'm sorry, numer, numeral pad two is what I want to say there. So default is electric. Okay. But I have turned on fire now. Oh. I can't click two and do that at the same time. There we go. Two is, oh, wow. That's the number pad. Yep. So what that will show you, by the way, is that we have combined super jump and super speed into one superpower. And I know that some of the uh, the faithful from City of Heroes are not happy about that, but some are happy. So we're kind of waiting to see if the opinion of the community gels in one way or another. People have suggested to me this is, if we leave it this way, we're going to be, you know, ship of bruises as people hit hard <laughs> stuff. Yeah, Kari says most people use both anyway. I don't know where you went. I've gone back to the uh, city hall. Um, maybe city hall is as the guy, as the guy who's... Uh, I think city hall's this way-ish. City hall is straight north on your map. I see the purple test. Hey, there you are. There you are. Excellent. <laughs> super jump is niche when you have fly and super speed. Yeah. Yes. So, well, actually, let me show you one more thing over here, just uh, by the hospital. <laughs> of course, the hospital. The safe, not gonna go in. safe not hospital. In <laughs> You're not in danger, but I was just going to say, you know, you can click these augmentation vendors and infusion vendors, and you can see stuff that is for sale, because this is a game in which there's no no gear. Your appearance is your appearance, and the invisible augments in your character control how you enhance powers. Infusions would be pretty much the the parallel for inspirations in City of Heroes. Except we've gotten a lot more creative with them. Are you sure I shouldn't go in there? I think not. But how do you know if it's really a bug if it can't be replicated? Well, my view is if it can't be replicated, you don't need to go in. And if it can be replicated, then you don't need to go in. <laughs> now, this is pretty funny. I, I would love to see races. The super yes. speed races along the track. You know, there's a hilarious thing, and I didn't realize what it was, what had happened. I thought for sure we had a bug, but I was using super speed, and I like the, the fiery super speed like this. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize one of the other players had buffed me for speed. <laughs> and, you know, back when we were doing this on spreadsheets, it seemed like a 500% buff for speed would be great. But you just did super speed, you know, going six times as fast as you're going, you're out of control. So <laughs> some things are gonna have to be rethought. So let me just see what else is fun. Actually, I'll just show, let me show you something down here at the other end, down by the waterfront. <coughs> So I think you were actually with us on a combat run over here in Science Park. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you remember that? I so we remember. You, we had you locked in, and you couldn't quite get to this part. You were 20 feet off. If you see where I am now. Wait, I lost you. So I am over by the the uh, big red drum buildings, red and silver drum buildings. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, because I wanted to get up on the Space Needle. I was the working Space to Needle get on is it. actually very cool. But I was just going to say, 
you know, we have shown some underground uh, sci-fi tunnels in, wait a minute, let me think about that. Have we shown that? But we also have just some more ordinary stuff like this, sort of a version of the old layer cake map, but underground parking garages. So there certainly is going to be a, a mission where you need to clear this out. And then if you get to the bottom where I am now, you, you would click on these doors and go in. But MJ, you should not click on any doors. <laughs> oh, come on. Because you have a special power. <laughs> so but I think you could see how you'd fight your way down here and click on the doors that you'd get into the engineering tunnels under the city and have even more adventures and come up somewhere else. Wow. How far down can you go? Are these like limitless? Oh, here we go. <coughs> I also love that when I turn around, the fire follows me in a little curve. So you don't want me to click these doors right here. <laughs> they should be closed. But for you, with your special powers... <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I'm thinking... <laughs> I don't know where you go then, but it might not be good. There are Prometheans in the tunnels below, you know. So... <laughs> yeah, you can have speed on when you have flight on. Ta-da! Yes. <laughs> Pretty sure blasters used to do that with teleport in COH. Wait, Toaster, used to do what? Break everything? <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to turn super speed off, and did you say you had flown up to the Space Needle, or you wanted to? Um... See, we've been in the game a couple of times already. Okay. And one of them... I'm trying to remember. We couldn't get around very far in one of them. I think I might have gotten to the Space Needle, but yeah, I was trying to explore everywhere. I wasn't sure if I actually made it onto the Space Needle or if we were blocked at that point. We might have well, been you blocked. Can. Oof, thunk. There's glass there. <laughs> Oops, there's a little glass there. You know, there's a funny thing that I, I do just as a, a personal thing. I like to go over to the arch, which just because the first video we ever made, the only, well, I guess it's one of two times we ever used the, uh, the robot. Um, we had the robot start out up here on the arch and just step off. <laughs> How does it look? Oh, toaster, stack extended range on teleport, rocket so far across the zone, computer would freeze or stutter for a bit. Ah, yeah. So I would just like to... Jump. Correct. Because one of the nice things is we put that video out two years ago, and while the city's improved, it is actually Beep, boom. not that changed. This arch and all this stuff was here then, too. Yep. Not all the planter boxes and the trees and everything, but a lot of this was here. Because it does take a couple years to really build a complicated city environment like this. Oh, yeah, because it's not just surface. You've got... Yeah, the city is has real 3D elements to it. For example, one of the things we put in, you know, a couple years ago was just over here you've got doors. You can get inside the arch because this is the spot where we where this arch is not necessarily just a building, it's a device for recovering unobtainium. And so it has a place in the lore sort of like Fort Knox. This is where the money is. And I can't get in. Darn it! 
<laughs> Thank God. I mean, that's too bad. <laughs> So, but there will be missions in there. And wealth. So what else would you like to see? What else can I tell you? Oh, what else, folks? What else are we looking? What do you want to see? What kind of things do you want to know? I mean, this is, you've got head honcho here. He can answer all the things, except what happens when I go into the <laughs> hospital. Not, not that I'm going to go find the hospital and try that again. <laughs> now, do you want to take a chance? Do you want to go to the beta club? Ah, uh, yes. Tam, okay. somewhere there's a dev at a console frantically locking any door MJ approaches. <laughs> <laughs> shut it so... down, shut it down, quick. All right, where is the console club? So we're going to give away the secret now, just for this broadcast. But you've got to come across to the hazard zone. Now, the hazard zone is the part of the map that's not done, except we've got a couple of buildings in here. So you see me? I can see you. Yes, you can. You can race across that bridge. Correct. We're planning to have. Uh, heavy foliage and rubble and junk of all kinds and dangerous predatory animals. Maybe some that are part machine and part animal over here. But for the moment, yes, we would go in here where the purple test just went. This was in one of our videos, but you can see we felt that like a game that draws so much from City of Heroes, there has to be at least one cave in it. <laughs> Ooh. Now, Can I click on it? you should be able to click this. I'm loading mission. Loading I guess mission. It should, it, it should say loading instance or something like that. But, And I'm in the beta club. There we go. Now the question will be is whether or not I'll be able to get out afterwards. Correct. Oh, cool. If you have to be trapped, this is a fun spot. Yeah, better in a hospital. Exactly. Now if you click like the club hostess or host, they should tell you the club is open and you can go on in. Oh, cool. Oh, that's kind of trippy in my eyes. Dance floor. You are going to have dance moves, right? Because Absolutely. You could type in slash twist right now. Woohoo! Get down with your funky self. Uh, it is purple, but it's not overwhelmingly purple. I mean, there's like, there's a lot of blue as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, I see all the pillars are the purple, so there you do have that. Somebody said to us, uh, which was not intentional, they said, somewhere, John Wick is killing a bad guy right now in this place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you stop after a minute. All right, now I'm curious. I'm going to start with flight. And then I'm going to add drop flight, add super speed. And I currently still have a mouse. Good. Cool. Maybe it's only the hospital. Yeah. Hospital is more like the Hotel California over there. <laughs> they rename it the Hospital California. Oh, try teleporting in there? Oh, I actually accidentally clicked on the door. You know, that's an interesting point. I'm going to see what happens to teleport in here. And it just takes me to the door. That's interesting. But when I click the door, it looks like I'm going to be able to get out. Yep, got out. 
Okay. So teleports only work in the zone? Yes. Kind of just an emergency evac in your zone. That's not that that's a bad thing. I mean, you may not want to leave the zone. Unless all the mobs are at the door where you just teleported to. Correct. Chrome, is there going to be combat during the stream? You, We did uh, shoot some dummies and stuff earlier. I can go shoot more dummies if you'd like to see. Um, but there's no player combat. Yeah, this is a this is a non-combat beta. We think that uh, game should be fun at every moment that you play, and not just sort of in the end game. So we're trying to make the character creation fun and the exploration fun, and that's what we're showing off in this particular beta. The next beta will be another, you know, kind of a system beta, except we'll come in and we'll do group combat with invasions under the arch. So our target is to see uh, how it works out with 50 players and, you know, 60, 70, 80 enemies in a tight area under the arch. That's the next beta we're going to do. That'll be fun. I think so. All right. I, I am I am curious to uh, tempt that hospital zone again. Up to the hospital, you say? <laughs> yeah. He's got to Or, know? or okay. we could go... Um, so we have a viewer who came in a little late who hasn't seen any power, so we can go shoot some of those dummies a little bit. Okay. Again. I don't mind showing that off again. Okay, maybe now I can't leave. Okay, now I'm leaving. <laughs> Great. We're like, we let you out once. Sorry. In or out, MJ? In or out? Come on. <laughs> you can't be confined that way. You live with cats. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay, so I'm back in the Powers Testing Center. All right. Oh, now... Teleport took me to the arch. Oh, good. So it worked. Yay. Excellent. Now if I could just figure out which building you were on top of to those testing ah. enemies. Go to the north, top of the map, and we're right next to the city hall. Ah, city hall. Flight seems so slow after uh, the, the super speed. The super speed. <laughs> It's entirely likely that we'll end up making some adjustments to this, to the speeds of all these things. So, and yes, toaster, un unless the mobs are at the door, there you are. like how Mop wiped in Homecoming. Yep. All right. Yes, here. So here we go. I've only we're level one, so I only have two skills, but you want to get a. Gander at skills, and we can. So this is the dark magic. Correct. So I have dark magic and heal stuff. And, well, that's an interesting thing. I need one second, because my doorbell's going off. Casey, it's up to you to shoot. Shoot okay. lots. And we'll uh, show all that off. Oops, he shot me back. No, he didn't, actually. Nope, that was my munchkin ringing the doorbell. Crazy little guy. Wait, why are you laying down? What happened while I wasn't looking? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, slash lay down, if you wish. Looks more like your lights were knocked out. <laughs> yes. Black. Wow. 
Oh, can I shoot while I'm laying down? No, you've got to get back up. No killing things while you're pretending to be dead. Alright, time to take that super speed off. Yes. Off, I say, uh, super speed. Off! No, well, off! When I click it, it goes off. Ooh, wait. It's not going it's off not. now! <laughs> <I'm trapped. laughs> it's not going off. I may have to thank the abuse of the speed. Oh, <laughs> the problem is not super speed. My daughter has boosted us by 500. Oh. That's the problem. Oh, great. So we can We're just go. walking. Oh, 900% you say? <laughs> yes, it's not super speed. All right. So this is without, I think. Oh, yeah. All right, wait. Uh, we got to go up because I got to. Oh, jeez. I was I was bouncing. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, wait. oh, boom, boom! Oh, human pinball here! Ow! Ow! It's a I've got to live in this town. Oh! Ah, boom! Oh, smack, smack! Oh my goodness, this is seriously a pinball game. How long does this last, Sarah Claire? <laughs> Now I can fly across the zone in four seconds. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> Here, I do your characters today. Holy cow! Wee! Whoa! Oh, boom! Holy cow! To be out of control for fifteen minutes. <laughs> do you know where you're at? No, no clue. All right. I dare you now to try and run at super speed the track. Oh no, that's, <laughs> that can't be done. Not with this squirrel on crack thing happening. <laughs> you keep running enough, you just end up on the track farther down. <laughs> uh, ooh. <laughs> that was about a hundred mile an hour face plant. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> Have you done it with flight yet? You literally ping pong off of all the buildings. Yes. Boom. Where am I? I don't even know where I'm at. Thwack. The only thing that's normal is swimming. Hiya. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get to the center of town and. Ah. <laughs> Sarah Claire. She said, "Use your powers while I go into the door. I use my powers." Here. <laughs> As I was mentioning, we want people to have fun. <laughs> Sounds fun to me. Boom. There we uh, go. <laughs> we had uh, our lead dev looking for what went wrong with super speed for like 20 minutes till I figured out someone had boosted me. <laughs> These powers need to be divided by 10. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> I am hitting a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got caught in a little corner. Wow. <laughs> this is this is fun. <laughs> Well, MJ, I should ask, are you getting more questions? Um, is there going to be fall damage in this game? Someone just asked. Uh, right now we've said no. It's That's a question of the kind, does the community come around and say, there's got to be fall damage? Because if there's got to be fall damage, then we'll put it in. It's not hard, right? Um, certainly for the beta, we don't want really anybody getting killed just on a character creator beta. So... No fall damage at the moment. But you are right that that is also one of the first things people check. They fly up and say, now drop. Now <laughs> jump in the lake. Exactly. I always, I always think they're gonna run around and say, well, let's look at that uh, that auction house. Nobody ever says that. No, no, <laughs> they don't. I mean. <laughs> you know, that's for later. 
But the first things you have to do is you go and you look and you test limits. Yes. Oh my goodness, doing this in first person is even harder. Ah! ah. And, yeah, you Whoa. can get to first person. Same thing like scrolling your mouse wheel in. Oh my gosh, that is frightening. You're right. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Damn. Damn. Oh, I'm just face planting everywhere. Yeah. Oh. Wait, am I flying or am I running? I can't even tell. Okay, that's flying. Let's take off flight. And let's try it running. Oh, jeez. Ah! It's like one of those sped up videos. Here's a tour of our town in 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. No, Here's not even 30 seconds. It's like three. The tour of our state. <laughs> <coughs> um. <coughs> uh, Enigma. Well, this is a successor to City of Heroes, so that's why it would probably look City of Heroish, except we're up on a big ship. Um. Toaster Master says fall damage, instantly lethal if 900% flight speed crashes, counted as falling. And Tanik says 50% of the NPCs would then need to be window washers to clear away hero remains. Exactly. <laughs> You'll be unsafe walking because of dead heroes falling from the sky. Um, Chrome is asking if there will be some kind of swing travel plow plowers powers such as um you know like web slinging or grappling to move from building that, to that building. is one of the questions we get all the time and i'll say we're not necessarily opposed to it but we're not promising it uh one of the things is we're a small team and we promised super speed flight and teleport to begin with because that's a pretty good combination and we kind of threw super jump into super speed uh, web slinging does create a sort of a host of uh, physics and other related issues, and we want to grapple with that after we've got, uh, you know, missions built and the the game launched. I think. All right. So, did you have a semi-general idea of when your next uh, beta with the uh, big fighting thing is going to be? Well, we had been thinking we'd aim for the end of the year, but I think it's probably going to be Q1 now because, uh, you know, we did our big thing last year at the end of the year, and our dev team really rallied and got it done, but it was kind of a negative on our holiday season, right? Mm -hmm. we, all have, we all have real lives, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, et cetera, and I think we're going to push it into Q1. But feeling pretty good about it last year's christmas video gives you kind of the image we had i don't remember now seven or eight devs come in and fight invading monsters <laughs> so we'd like to see if we could do that with a lot more players and a lot more monsters that would be fun and uh, if we pull it off the way we're thinking now what we'll do is people who are involved in this beta you'd have the option to log back in and take your character and uh, maybe level them up to level five or six. Ooh. And put in some augments and get a tray of infusions. And then, you know, maybe practice a little bit in the powers testing center so you know what you're doing, right? Mm hmm Then we'd form people up into teams and trigger the invasion. That's the, at least that's the conceptual plan. Hopefully we can pull that off. But we think that would be exciting. Yeah. People to come back in and fiddle a little bit, right, and get familiar again. It would allow you to go through the level up process for a couple of levels. And it would allow you to say, well, if I really, you know, my thing is really fireballs. Personally, I like fireballs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe I want to put some extra damage and some extra accuracy on those fireballs. So you could sort of test it out, get the infusion, get the augments. It would be an introduction to that part of the game, which is really. Um, powers design, you know. Mm -hmm. This is a game like City of Heroes where everybody gets to design their powers. So any two fire devastators, their powers are different. Oh, yeah. So they can... You're not going to be carbon copies of every other one. Correct. I mean, if you've played uh, 
like Star Wars, you know, that, you know, every level 35 sorcerer has kind of the same stuff to work with and gear can impact that. But, you know, there's a lot of people that manage to get the best gear at every level, right? So mm -hmm. they're kind of very similar. In this game, everybody would actually be unique. You'd look different. You'd be augmented differently. That's part of the fun. It's a little yeah. bit more you're playing your story and not my story. Very true. Now, speaking of how you look, I think now might be a good time to give people a little idea of the character creator. Uh, looks like, oh, there's logout. Um, now, this is just the beginnings of this, correct? Yeah, I'd say, you know, in some theoretical sense, we could launch with what we have now, but it wouldn't meet our vision for the game. So what you have now, as far as we know, everything works, which is really, really important, right? Mm -hmm. Everything works. We've got what we think are the right number of morphs. They do the right things. They apply to all the characters. They apply to all the costume pieces. Um, we think clipping is very, very modest, but we're taking it seriously. Our uh, community has identified, I don't know, 15, 20 pieces where there's a clip. You know, usually that means, hey, turn around, look at the back of the shirt, up near the uh, character's hairline, I see like a square inch of his shirt poking through his coat. And mm -hmm. we say, okay, we'll, we'll fix that. But you know, that's relatively small stuff. Um, so we're probably gonna launch with two or three times as much uh, as many costume pieces, and we will also be launching with some um, with some civilian clothes as well. Some people like to mix and match. Some want to be dressed just as civilians. Mm -hmm. But this is a usable character creator right now. Now, will they ever be? Able, now they'll make their costume look. Is there going to be chances or opportunities for them? Because at some point, sometimes I just want a different look. Are they going to have the ability to alter the costume? Well, in what way? Go with that a little more. Tell me what you're thinking. All right. So I'm there with black and green and these uh, high boots and spandex. And I decide I want to go with a more civilian looking look. Maybe for role play reasons or whatever. So I want just the, uh, the shirt and the jeans. Is there a way that characters will have that opportunity? to go and change their base outfit. Oh yeah, so so what I'm hearing is a question, you tell me if that's what you're saying, is could my character have more than one costume? Yes. Yes, and absolutely. Today it's one costume. We do plan to allow people to have several. Uh, role play is really important. A lot of people want to be able to, you know, sort of be in their civilian look, switch into their hero costume, maybe switch into a costume they use, you know, for I don't know what ninja work or something, you know, for stealthing or whatever, right? So people want to be able to have more than one option. Absolutely, we're going to enable that. Uh, mm -hmm. We're starting with one though, because our philosophy has always been, you do something, you try to do it really well, and then you add something else onto it that's done really well. You make it bigger in pieces. One of the things about that is we've looked at how other games are developed and if you start making something really big and the quality gets away from you and, you know, crap sort of starts to suffuse it, I, I can't think of a case where people went back later and made it really good. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to get the quality in as you go along. So will that be, uh, so Toastmaster is calling it basically a tailor NPC. So you just go to them, pick your new outfit, or do you think it'll be straight from your UI? Like a closet? Yes, yeah, so there's, uh, there's more than one element of this. So if you took your character back into the character creator right now, you could redress her in new clothes. Oh. Now in City of Heroes, you had to go to a tailor to do that. Right now, you could just pop right back in and get yourself a new look. But there's You'd also the element the of to do that, you want to be able to save more than one look, and we don't have that enabled today. Okay. So we don't have it, I should say, it is enabled in a way, it's not easy. You could, you know, choose a costume, save that costume, bring it into your 
your computer and then load it back in later on. That's a, a little bit of a, like a manual process though. I think what I understood the question to be was, will I be able to like, with a couple of clicks, just switch from costume one to costume three? Yes. And I think, yes, that's, that'll be for a little later on, but yes. Okay. Because that's, I mean, especially when it comes to role play, that's kind of important so that you want... It you, is. You know, you, fact, you don't want to be that super thing all the time. Or maybe you went Dark Phoenixy and suddenly need a black outfit instead of, you know... Exactly. Ryder. So, or just, I'm sitting here while you're speaking, actually showing them some of the choices of... Uh, messing with the the character creation oh wow i didn't really i didn't i didn't go this close on eyes before whoa oh yeah Where's you've it? got a lot of eyes and you can really get the face you want in some of the pictures we've put out we're trying to make the point that you can actually look like a lot of different people it doesn't look like you know if you're making a female it doesn't look like you can make five sisters you can make some radically different ladies uh-huh and same for the gentleman of course yeah, that's where we're actually looking at one of the guys right now. So you've got the female, the male, and the colossal. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Also, since you've got a lot, a lot of uh, sliders there, <clears throat> you can, of course, um, you can make them very slim or you can make them quite plump. Uh, you can make them taller and shorter. You know, we have a bunch of little improvements we're going to put in. One of them that we didn't quite get in, I, I, I really kind of regret it, but there isn't a floating height measure. So you can't tell, you know, you how tall tell. is your to start with, right? Yeah. So a standard male starts out about six foot three, I think, or maybe it was six foot one. He starts out as a pretty good, pretty tall guy, but you can make him, I think, almost seven feet tall or five feet tall, right? Okay. Now, for obvious reasons, you can't make children. We're not making any child-sized characters. Mm -hmm. Well, some of these hairstyles I notice are the same for guys or girls. That's pretty neat. There are some that cross over. We had a lot of requests for that. So, you know, you might remember that we did our character creator alpha back in September of 2017. And back then we had uh, male hair and female hair. And one of the things the community told us is, we want some of this stuff to cross. And so we've we've put some in that does cross. Yeah, because, you know, if a guy wants to be wearing a big old ponytail or bun on his head, there you go. Right? Who are Correct. we to uh, diss the man bun? Now, one thing we did do, for example, there's a... Uh, there's a mohawk for men, and there's there. I think there should be two mohawks for women, one with uh, side fuzz and one without it. I'd have to look carefully to see if they both made it in. But, I uh, don't remember seeing the mohawk for women when I went through. Yeah, so we'll have. I'll have to check on that. Um, we do have more stuff than we are showing, of course, right? So. What guys get a Santa hat? Are you saying the lady can't have a Santa hat? No, there was no Santa hat. There were two headbands. Uh -oh. and a... my, my ladies here are confirming for me there's no female Santa hat. Uh, that can be corrected tonight. No Santa hat. And this I cool Prometheus that. helmet. I mean, what? Yeah, we've, uh, we have more we're going to put in. Absolutely. <laughs> so the thing, we, the thing we have here is everything that's in works. And we consider that to be a really important element of the beta. We want people to have fun. And it's, it's less fun if you put stuff up and then you can't make it work on your character. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know what I mean. So. I think also when I was trying... Um, oh, yeah, guys, you can actually um, change the underwear underneath your leggings. That is correct. Males and females both. Oh, Toaster says Promethean helmet overrides your hair. One of my peeves about some headgear. So yeah, yeah it makes you go bald. Correct. When the Prometheans uh, grab hold of you and 
you've got their their stuff. The first thing they do is shave you bald and you know say that hair is a useless use of protein, so that's out. Useless use of protein. Exactly. That's definitely something. Yeah, this Asian stuff doesn't look like it's. Oh, so there we go. You get your primaries and your secondaries, and. Um... See, one of the considerations we're we're having right now, and we'll be, you know, we'll be talking to the community and polling on some of these things is. Should we give every piece of clothing a third color? Do people want, is primary and secondary enough? Um, coming from somebody who takes 30,000 years to make a character, I would say the more colors you add, the more weeks that are gonna be added to my ability to make a character. <laughs> That's just gonna take. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to assess whether that is a yes or a no. <laughs> um, for me, probably not so much. I, Natalia says more colors is better. Chrome says third color is amazing. Hexidian says not every piece, but yes. Chrome, absolutely yes. There you go. So generally, your your audience is thinking well of the idea of the third color. Yes. Yes, they are. All right, I'm going to go back to body. And yeah, if women didn't have a... There's actually more masks. Healer hoodie. Witch hat. Witch hat? Yeah, so basically the head things are completely different between the two. They are. Uh, we started out with all pieces being different between the models. So in fact, even the big guy stuff was different from the regular male. That's how we started out. And we've gradually come to the conclusion that actually, you know, if you think about a role-playing guild, they might want to have a special outfit that they use for raids, you know? So you see, you know, the, uh, the beer drinkers guild comes in and they're all dressed in brown or green or red, you know? And they're they're a big wedge in the center of the of the fight. They'd be easily identifiable, let's say. And so we're enabling that. And in fact, we're going to make it easier because if you think about the guild master, all he would need to do is design three costumes: one for the male, one for the big guy, one for the female, and he could send those around to each guild member. And then, regardless of what character they make, you know, if he makes a if he makes a costume for a male. And some of his guild members make tall males, some make fat males, some make skinny, short males. It doesn't matter. The costume will automatically morph onto each member. Okay. So they could all be dressed in, you know, the equivalent of, of uh, SWAT uniforms, right? But the SWAT uniform will fit each member of the team exactly. Okay. Oh, yeah, we were going to go look at Mohawks here. Unless I didn't make it all the way to the end, I did not see Mohawks for... Oh, nope, I guess I just didn't make it to the end. Yep, there were two more at the end. Chrome is asking if you're going to make the Colossal female eventually. Probably not. And one of the reasons is uh, we get the question all the time, but when we pull on it, not many people plan to make one. They're just curious. And let me put it like this. You know, when you have three character models, you get an enormous advantage. The alternative is to sort of try to transform males into females, females into males. That, that can have the effect sometimes that you end up with all of your characters looking kind of trans. Um, there's nothing wrong with that look. It's just making it mandatory is suboptimum. So the other way to go is to make three models like we have. If you make a fourth, if we were to make a fourth model, it means we're increasing the amount of work for everything that we have to do by, you know, by another third. So that is not entirely a popular decision for our team. Yeah, and Chrome, he's noting that every time they, they pull and ask players if they're going to play it, they're saying no. 
So, if you think about it, yes, it may give a couple people an option, but if nobody is talking about playing it, wouldn't those dev hours and stuff be better put on something that more than one or two people will play? But, um... I, also, I don't know. All... I, I think it would be a really neat addition. That... It's also important to realize that right now you can make a pretty big girl who's, you know, six foot six and but heavily she's... muscled. So how much bigger does she have to be? Right? That's the question. But she's not, she's not muscled like the Colossal. Um, she's pretty muscly. You know, she's got bodybuilder muscle on her. She got a lot of other stuff. So. I, be pretty big. And in fact, we showed at least one really big uh, gal in our last newsletter, I believe. Um, let me see. Torso? So you get big by uh, maximizing 14 different body morphs in three different places. We kind of showed that in one of our uh, in one of our videos as well. But does any of them? I mean, none of them actually look like the big. I I don't. Maybe I'm totally missing it. I can I can check that, but. So, I, hmm. one thing we do, MJ, is if, if people want something, we'll find a way to give it to them. But we do need to hear that enough want it, not just one or two. I did have a guy who was really, really pitching hard that he wanted to ride into combat on a giant mechanical spider. And I'm saying, yeah, but it's not really, you know, kind of fitting the theme. I admit it makes a, a compelling image in your mind right but it doesn't exactly fit the theme here okay but all right um hikari i think people be happy with non-binary options and more flexible large body type that is true that might i looking into that is there do you have a way on how your how it's currently set up to make it uh, to add some more non-binary options? You know, because that actually there's there's a huge you know uh, amount of oh, I, I, there's population that would would want to be building that. Like um, you see the guy. Unless I've I've tried to go through everything, and even doing that, he still comes up as this super ripped guy. I mean, you can turn that off. I guess I'm not finding where I've tried to make everything yeah. small, and I still get this guy with this massive six pack and. Yeah, you can turn the six pack off. You can you can uh, make him a lot smoother. Uh, take the sliders that give you the six pack and roll them over, I believe, all to the left. Oh, here we go. Body normal. If I move the body normal, that, that moves that. And then waist can make that a little bigger, I guess. Is there a, there's not a. It doesn't look like, I guess, a, a chest shoulder so much for guys. Okay, so that. That area is going to stay kind of bigger. But so I do get that with the face options. Do you think there are enough sliders to maybe give a more non binary look? Or Absolutely. is that something that can be added in more options to? Because you've got the very, it's a very chiseled got. Let's see the different face options for the guy I can come up with. I here. think you've got 34 or 36 at least starting face options so you may have fallen onto the default one but you've got a slider with an enormous number of basic faces and then on every one of those faces 
all of the Morse work. I mean, you could you can literally make a billion different guys here. Yeah, now Toaster, this is talking, there are some presets, but they're not hard presets. So you run through these and then you go down and you start cheek depth and... Correct. Um, so you don't have to stay with a hard preset. That's just how you can start. Like I'm That's trying correct. to see if I can make this guy look a little more feminine. One of the questions on the table is, and we've, we've wondered this ourselves, we've given an enormous amount of power, but can people make use of it? And one of the things we think is gonna happen is, honestly, we think not everybody has enough art talent to make what they wanna make. So what we've done to get around that is, anyone who makes a character can send it to anyone else. So we think that when the game launches, you know, kind of the typical thing is if there are 20,000 people playing this, there may be 50 or 100 guys or gals who are really good at this, really, really good. We think they'll have a little in-game business of saying, hey, tell me again what you're looking for. And then build the character from that? They'll build you whatever you want and send you a file and say, how does this look? Maybe you'll go back and forth. In lots of games, you know, you wait for other people to craft armor or craft different stuff for you, right? Again, these files, they could also go up in the marketplace, the auction house. Oh. So you're, if, if, you, if you want a certain look and you don't have the skills, you are not trapped. You know, ask for help because the basic core of the whole idea for Ship of Heroes is positive community. People will help you. It's a friendly group. I think I'm getting this one a little, except for the, except for the nose. I'd have to fix the nose. Nose is too big. <laughs> I always have to have little tiny noses when I play. And to you make, can make the you can make the nose quite small if you want. To make me you feel no, better since my nose is so tiny. <laughs> you you really can do almost anything. I see toaster. I've seen crazy things. Champions Online, for example, pretty old superhero game. Um, three body types. Oh, okay, toaster. That's what you're meaning. Three body types is a hard preset. That's what I mean. Yes, that is true. That is true, so... Oh, hey, he's got this guy a little... a little bit cuter. Um, but I do see from, from the position of someone who is... especially who does females... that... really kind of... I, I, I will have to... look a little more... into it, because... It feels like, for the most part, you're you're just getting the. Wait, so there isn't anything besides body normal one, for the female. Oh. That it's you know, kind of your model look. My character was inching towards being Weird Al. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um. So sometimes it's nice as as somebody who well I mean I I tend to make more powerful looking ones anyway but you know some people they you know somebody wants a absolutely rounder chubbier or yeah like toaster was talking about i did a character creator where i made the character he basically looked like a giant fish rock dude that's yeah pretty so <laughs> but that uh, might be a little more options than than you guys are looking at putting in of that's correct. I mean, the storyline here is you've got a ship of humans and human allies, aliens who are aligned with us. We're moving through a troubled universe. We're trying to defend human planets in a human federation. We're out on the rim. There's a lot of combat, a lot of risk. It is, however, you know, ship of heroes, not ship of monsters. Okay. So... Now, do you know about, like, this body normal that the works on the guys? Why, is this a bug that it's not working for me, or does that not? It might be a bug. Because I, yeah, I don't have, I can't move it at all. 
Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to look at it. So, um, cause see, I, I guess I mean I can get her a little rounder. So. So that was just people wanted you know, more customization, is always better on the consumer side, but there absolutely. has there has to be a point on the developer side where, you know. You guys don't want everybody spending the next 10 weeks in the character creator. Not so much. Although that would be me. So, you know, I'm just looking at our last, uh, on our forums, the last latest news, the CCT beta begins. And I'm looking at the pictures in that newsletter. Just to get a quick look and yeah, it must be the one before that. Yeah, it's two newsletters ago. That's where it is. The one on silhouettes and body types. Yeah, it's on silhouettes and body types. Part of what you're asking me is about the silhouette. And we actually give you enormous power to change the silhouette. So okay. if you were to look at the third picture there, you can see the same gal at uh, 75 pounds, 120 pounds, and 220 pounds. It's a very large difference. And then the next set of pictures, you can see the, you know, the 90 pound guy, the 140 pound guy, and the 270 pound guy. I just made those numbers up, but you can really see the difference. Oh, we need to I'll go I'll go look for that link to to throw out everybody and Tannic I didn't imply any relationship between beauty and heroism okay leave me alone <laughs> so so before it I mean you have the character creator now and the beta that's going but is this this isn't going to be all the options that you ultimately have is that correct? probably not oh I I think we think the options we have are better than any other game is showing right now, frankly, in this regard. We're not aware of anyone matching what we can do. Again, I, I can't see your live stream at the moment, so I'm not sure where, where you're at. But <laughs> Yeah, I, you... I basically made a character that looks like your far end on the female side. The male side, I was trying to go for slender and skinny. They still have pretty big pecs no matter what I do I can't seem to narrow that down any but you know what I'm going to send you the link to this newsletter right now because I'm looking at Slender and Skinny I think he's pretty skinny uh, he, he's, he's still pretty built <laughs> he's still got a broad broad chest well let me see you're sending that right in here I can link it in the chat for folks. Or are you emailing it? I emailed it to you, oh. actually. Okay, then I'll, I'll run to my email and go for that. So to get really to get a really slim character, you need to do some stuff in the torso setting, the arm setting, and the leg setting, all three. You need to pull everything over to the left. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to take time for that to get through, I think. Um, but you see, like, the guy still has... He, he still has the chiseled V look on his torso. He's still got the bigger pecs that goes down into... I like So the girl gets a little chubby, but the guy is still... That's pretty built, even if he's not overly... Muscular. Why is it not... Why is my email not showing up? Bad email. Can you drop that link right into the Skype? I probably can. Since it's taking forever, Gmail's like, oh, I'm not going to share with you. There we go. Aha! I have it. I have it to share. All right. There we go. Um, so that actually, uh, folks, is going to show you uh, some of the, the changes in silhouette and body types. So yeah, see the first one, 
It's... Uh... And then the Colossal is the last one, right? The guy in the green and... Or is that just the regular... No, that's the regular well, guy. Yeah, so the very last one is a big guy. So on the left is the smallest big guy. And on the right is the biggest big guy. But what I would say is if you sort of go in the middle and look at the three green guys or look at the three uh, girls in shorts, these are actually very different silhouettes. That is true. But I mean, like, I look at the first guy and I see Spider-Man. He's still very built at the top, the very triangular, big, muscular um, top of the torso down into a chiseled waist. Yep. So, so male superheroes are, are pretty much going to be ripped no matter what. But maybe if you live in space, that's... I mean, maybe there's not junk food in space. Guys, the guy's, <laughs> guy's breathing unobtainium dust all day. Oh, it's there got you go. Yeah, those thighs are, yeah, he's, he's pretty muscular. You're not going to have any pudgy, blobby superhero. I guess maybe if you... No, you can have pudgy, blobby. Look at the bottom. I don't you, know. You... He doesn't look very blobby. He still has, like, intense muscles. Yeah, but he still fights crime all day, even though he eats too many donuts. I mean, no, I'm sympathetic <laughs> myself. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I... I... Uh, for my because of my health, I was put on this phenomenally strict diet, and I'm I'm gonna get to break it a little bit when I travel next week. And oh my gosh, guys, I'm looking forward to it. I've like not craved foods and stuff before, but at this point, I'm sick of the same eight foods all the time. I want something else. And he says donut. Like I didn't crave donuts before. Somebody said donuts, and suddenly I'm like, yeah, donut sounds good. You know? Oh yeah, we're in here. There's an ice cream symbol up on the wall of your club and i'm like oh yeah ice cream probably sounds good right now too anything sounds exactly. good right now because i get nothing <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> there is only so much of eight foods you can combine to make three different meals in a day and it's yep it's crazy yep but hey someday fingers crossed maybe i'll throw get a little mustard on it that changes it up a little bit <laughs> i can't have mustard oh no <laughs> Not there's even no that I like mustard, but no. Nope. There's no <laughs> calories in mustard. You should be able to have mustard. Oh no, it has nothing to do with calories. It has to do with what they're made out of, and oh, yeah. So, yeah, no fun, no fun. But you know what? When I go to New Zealand, I'm gonna be like, hey, nope, not paying attention to that. I'm gonna go eat Hobbit food in a Hobbit house, and no one's gonna stop me. My doctor will be half a world away, right? She's not right. gonna know anything. <laughs> she's already she's already I already know what's gonna happen when you go um, so there you go guys there is a look at the superheroes hopefully like I'm hearing from people that they would like to like to see more more options but uh, there's there's still some good variation within what you have um, but it, okay. I, I mean personally I, I, I would go with 5,000 options I know that's not doable at all, Correct. but <laughs> it doesn't mean I don't want it and wouldn't like it. I'd never get into the game to play because I would still be making my character all week long. It already took me all week long to make this one for heaven's sakes. <laughs> um, Obsidian, you say, what's wrong with superheroes looking like superheroes? But what if you want to play more of a villain character? Did Penguin look like this? You know. Some of my favorite superheroes don't, you know, I don't know. I think variety's nice. People like variety because it makes them feel a little more unique. Now, the idea that your costume is going to be unique. Now, I definitely think more costume pieces would be pretty cool. Absolutely. And that we will deliver. Um, because still, at this point, you know, you're going to run into people looking the same, even with the color variations, just because there's not as many options at the moment. But you say more is going to come to that. Correct. Awesome. We, we actually have right now about the number of hero costumes that City of Heroes launched with. 
which is something to think about. People, people who have been playing on the private servers or thinking about the game, you know, in its 10th year of development, right? Oh, that is true. If you, if you could go back and say, hey, I wonder what they had one year before they launched, it, it was probably like two sets of underwear and a scarf. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't remember. I will. Oops, wait. Can I not enter the world? Well, I broke the game again somehow. You uh, have powers, MJ. You have powers. I'm clicking on my devastator. I'm trying to enter the world, and it won't let me. <laughs> well, I guess that means the stream's just about done. And hey, we kept you a lot longer than you were expecting. You're like, oh, yeah, I'll be there for a few minutes. Yeah, that's you, okay. You, you forgot how well I could break things. MJ, for you and your audience, thank you very much. Love showing you the city. Oh, yes. Thank you. And those powers were fun. So thank you for taking the time out to come and trap me in the hospital. <laughs> no problem. I know you, what we're going to do with you in the future. Yeah, you, you, you now have the perfect <laughs> MJ trap. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much. Building, put a big sign, MJ, enter here. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else is going to be like, what is that? What yeah. is that for? <clears throat> no one else, just MJ, you know. Oh, you know, exactly. everybody would be clicking on that. Uh, but so this is the very end. Tomorrow, tomorrow is the last day, correct? Correct. So from tonight, we're going to have a uh, break the server test to see if we can get a lot of people to come in and... Uh, We've built the game with a special feature so that if your FPS gets down to about 10, uh, the game, uh, our code in the game automatically re starts reducing the quality of the visuals a little bit. You know, it knocks out shadows. It starts knocking things out to keep you above 10. We want to see if we can get enough players to come in and force that to kick in. We call that break the server. <laughs> I remember the last break the server. We actually, we actually did stream that. Um, yes, well, did. maybe not the very last one, but one of the last ones. And I don't think I broke it that badly that time. But No, uh, that time we got like 80 heroes in uh, close, uh, you know, close quarters. And uh, there were NPCs, cars move around, people had the torch power. So that was for us a pretty good test. And, you know, getting, getting decent FPS, it's a measure of how immersive the game is going to be. It's a really important technical feature that relates directly to how much enjoyment people get out of playing. Well, I have one last question before I do the whole sign off that uh, I, I almost skipped over. Sorry, Toaster. Here it is. Are there going to be many more archetypes in Ship of Heroes? I have a thing for pet classes. So, yes, there are. So right now we're not uh, talking about it too much, but we have the first uh, controller power set in test. And we do want to do uh, pet classes. We call them commanders, and um, they're going to come up next. Also, you know, we we like the idea of mixing and matching the primary and secondary power sets to make some potentially new archetypes that people haven't seen before. Oh yeah, because right now when I picked one, it gave me an automatic. Um, it, it seemed like it went to the the healing powers pretty much automatically when I did Devastator. Is that normal or did I do something wrong? I think you clicked it by accident because you do have options. But uh, support, one of the support classes is healing. And there are, there are at least two healing power sets that I can think of. Mystic healing and uh, restorative. restorative nanites. So I know we have two there and we have other, uh, other support power sets as well. So I think you may have clicked it. Okay. All right, yeah, I did see the nanites in the, okay. But uh, yeah, of course, variation, options, options are always nice. Thank you so Perfect. much for taking the time. If any of you guys out in chat land want to learn more about Ship of Heroes, now um, Casey and his team send us lots of updates and keep us in the loop as to what's going on. So we have a nice, robust look at what's going on with the game there on MassivelyOP.com. So go check it all out. And of course, the OPTV stream calendar is there as well if you guys want to check that out, see when we're streaming what. Tanic right now just put the stream post link right in there. So if you want to go back and watch something from the beginning, 
you missed something, you want to share it with friends, then there's the link to do that. And of course, if you want to continue a conversation, I want to hear from you guys what what body type, what is your what is your ideal? Describe to me your ideal superhero that you could create. I want to hear that. Let me know. Send in drawings, anything like that. That would be totally awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for supporting us and keeping us going. And, of course, I know Casey feels the same. Everybody, thanking for supporting Ship of Heroes. Thank you all. Because that keeps you going. That keeps, and supporting Mop keeps us going. And then we can do more of this stuff. So have a wonderful day, everybody, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, MJ. Good night, all.